So my senior season is going on. Obviously, go to the NFL Combine, playing an all-star game, and I'm getting a lot of traction, right? I'm moving up draft boards, or at least I thought I was. I was being talked about by draft gurus such as Mel Kuyper Jr., who at the time was one of my favorites because he was talking about how much of a steal I would be. He said I could go anywhere between the third and the fifth round at worst. Remember that, fifth round at worst. So me being who I am, I get excited about it. Me and the family are excited because, hey, I have a chance to live my dream. I get a chance to get my name called on draft day. So I'm extremely excited about it. So the draft starts. Round one goes by. Hey, no worries. We're not worried about round one because, hey, we're supposed to go at best third round, at worst, fifth round. Second round goes by. Okay, cool. No worries. We're not worried about it at all. Start of the third round happens, and I get an email from the Kansas City Chiefs. And the scout was saying, hey, man, I just want to make sure that we got the correct phone number for you because you're still high on our board. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm going to Kansas City. Then that's how it's going to be. Third round goes by, no phone call. So now I'm like, all right, let's just check the phone, make sure we got a battery, make sure the signal's good, right? Because you have to make sure your signal's good. All those things were good. So I'm like, all right, cool. Fourth round starts. The San Francisco 49ers are on the clock. And I'm like, ah, oh. they flew me out for a visit. It was nice. Coach Singletary, we hit it off. It was nice. He even called my high school coach, my mother, and my father to see what type of person I was and if I could play linebacker. So I'm like, hey, man, it's about to happen. The San Francisco 49ers are on the clock, and they select linebacker. Out of Penn State, Novaro Bowman. Now, at the time, I was like, oh, man, this is crazy. Hindsight being 2020, it was a great pick. So <laughs> I'm like, all right, I can live with that. But this is where I completely lose my mind. The fifth round starts. No DNs, no linebackers is taken off the board. And who gets drafted? A punter. It was a punter, and, and, and it just hurt my heart that a punter was taken before me. I just couldn't believe it. And now punters are people, but I'm a baller. At least I thought I was. So it hurt my heart to see a punter get taken before me in this draft. So now I'm like, you know what? I don't even want to watch the draft anymore. I instantly went to worst case scenario. Football's over before I even got the opportunity to play. I'm never playing again. Like I said, I leave my family downstairs. I go upstairs to the room, and I'm having my little, you know, pity party. But it was cool because at least I did it with dignity. I went to the room so no one could see. So now, six rounds started, and I get a phone call. I'm like, okay, we got a little bit of action. Who could this be? And it's the New York Giants. And they're like, hey, man, we're picking later this round, and we're going to select you. And I was like, man, I'm going to New York City, baby. The big city, the bright lights. I was so excited. So I leave out the room. I'm about to go downstairs because I got to tell the family, right? Before I get to the stairs, I get another phone call. Who is it? The Atlanta Falcons. And they're like, hey, we don't pick this round, but we're going to trade back in to come and get you. And now I'm like, okay, I'm really excited. So now I start out with a cool walk down the stairs. Now I'm in a full sprint. The whole time, the Buffalo Bills are actually on the clock. And they're trying to get in contact with me, but they can't because I've been on the phone. So they call my mother up. And my mother's downstairs getting the call. And they're all excited looking for me. I'm running down to tell them that, hey, I'm about to get picked by the Giants or the Falcons. And they're like, dude, the Bills are picking you right now. So I literally hang up the phone on the Falcons. I grab the phone from my mom. And who is it? Buddy Nix, general manager at the time of the Buffalo Bills. He's telling me, man, you're going to be a Buffalo Bill. Welcome to the family. I remember walking to the TV screen, seeing my name get called. And it was one of the best feelings I ever experienced. And honestly, one of the best days of my life. And for that, man, I always am very grateful and very appreciative of the Buffalo Bills organization. And they always hold a special place in my heart because they gave me that opportunity to live up my dream. They gave me the opportunity to have that sense of fulfillment after all the years of hard work and sacrifice to finally hear your name called. It was just a special feeling.